Hi guys. <laughs> I know that I literally just did one of these videos, but um, I want to do it again. I like my bangs, but I feel like they could be shorter. I don't know, I was looking at pictures on Instagram <laughs> of some cute ass people with like super short bangs. So let's give them a little bit of a trim. I don't know, why not? They're gonna grow back. Why not like just go for it? Sometimes I make a video and I feel like literally like no one is gonna watch this. And then people actually do. I wonder if this will be one of those videos. I was looking back at some of my old videos recently just to see like what I've already talked about and trying not to like repeat subjects I've already talked about. Some of my old content is so cringe, like how did I not get bullied off the internet? <laughs> not necessarily the content of the videos or anything, but just like the way I'm so awkward in front of the camera. Honestly, I bet I'll look back on like this video in a couple years <laughs> and think the same thing. So some of this I've been trying to grow out, as you guys know. So let's try to keep those pieces out of this. Sometimes I look back at recent videos that I've done like a month ago, <laughs> and I'm like, how did I think this was an acceptable thing to post? <laughs> let's just kind of go for it. I'll start with like this side. Nice. That's choppy as hell. This side like never wants to cooperate with me anyway. Bit of a life update. I might be moving soon, like for real this time. My boyfriend and I are both like really spontaneous people. So we kind of just like are down for like big life changes. I mean, that's how we ended up here, honestly. We like moved across the country, just like for no reason, kind of. We just felt like it. But we had a plan to move and then that got kind of put on hold because of, you know, the pandemic. Um, and now we like, I know the pandemic's not over, but like we actually want to do it. So we might just like go for it. The parts that I bleached, I've said this a million times, but the parts that I bleached blonde never obey me. Like they always sick up no matter what I do to them. They just hate me for like bleaching the shit out of them, which is fair. Anyways, um, we're gonna move soon. We're gonna like low-key just live on the road in our little recreational vehicle. My boyfriend randomly just decided like the other day that we should do this soon and I was like, okay, because I'm kind of a down-ass bitch. I'm like an anxious bitch, but I'm somehow like also a down-ass bitch. I'm like down for whatever. That doesn't mean it's gonna be like easy though. I do get anxious really easily with change and stuff. I have such a love-hate relationship with change. Like I love change and hate it at the same time. I do kind of get sick of routine like when I find myself falling into some sort of routine and I do crave new things but change also is like very anxiety inducing. I'm such a paradox of a person honestly like I love adventure and crazy things and at the same time I love staying at home and feeling safe and never leaving the house and never having to face the world. I like love both of those things simultaneously and I'm like always fighting with myself of like which type of person I am. <laughs> am I a homebody who could stay in one little confined space forever? Just minding my own business, reading books, reading books, writing books, making art, doing whatever the hell in my own little space for the rest of eternity? Because I am pretty good at just entertaining myself, like just hanging out by myself. Or am I the type of person that wants to go experience the world and go see different places and just live very free? I don't know. Like I actually don't know. Do you guys have this dilemma? Do you know like which side of that spectrum you're on? This is kind of my theory but I'm not really sure. Like maybe the part of me that wants to go out and experience things and do all these different things and feel like I'm always in an adventure is like the real me. And then the part of me that's like, nah, I'd just rather stay home all the time forever and like do my own thing is like the layer of anxiety that lives on top of my existence. I don't know, that could be true, but I am also just an introverted person. Like that has nothing to do with anxiety. It's just like, I do need time to be completely alone and to recharge and to rest mentally and physically to feel like ready for my next adventure. So that's that's not really like a mental illness thing. That's just that's just the type of person I am. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's not my anxiety that's holding me back. 
Maybe I am somehow both of these people combined. Sounds like a lot of fun to live on the road. I don't think it's the type of thing I would want to do for the rest of my entire life. It's always been like a fantasy of mine to settle down in like a little cottage in the woods with like no neighbors, just lots and lots of land. Is this even looking good? I've just been like talking and zoning out while I cut these. I just really wish that anxiety like didn't hold me back from things. Like when we first moved here a couple years ago, I was like super down for the new adventure, but honestly like the first month that we lived here was probably like the most anxious month of my whole life. <laughs> like honestly, I was like a little ball of anxiety every single day. It was like worth it. Like it was worth the move. It was cool to experience this city, but the first month was absolutely awful. And I just hope it won't be like that for me again when I move again. I hope it won't take me a whole month to adjust to my new circumstances. It might, knowing me, maybe that's something I just need to accept that like the first month is gonna be hell and then, and then when I get used to it, things will start, you know, being fun and I'll start enjoying it. I will keep you guys updated. It's nice to have you guys too to vent to. When I first moved here, all I had was my diary, which is helpful, diaries are great, but it's not the same as like, getting actual feedback from actual human beings on the other side of the screen. Is this looking even or is it completely uneven? Should I cut it this way? No. What if I went even shorter? Like I saw some pictures on Instagram of people, like the really tiny bangs, like just the little, 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 little bangs. Those are so cute and so punk. Could I pull that off? I'm not sure. I mean, these are pretty short. <laughs> What's with all this like volume in my hair? Like it never lays flat, it goes like psh -psh. So I styled it a little bit, straightened the bangs. <laughs> They're not like what I would call even. So after straightening like this part, I realized like this part's a little long. So let's go in right here. As much as I love the blonde, like the way it looks in here, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that because the texture changes so much that it's almost not even worth it. I feel like with bangs, you really want the texture to be like right, you know? Like with the rest of my hair, if this texture is a little off, like it's okay, but I feel like the hair directly around your face, you kind of want it to be like the right texture. Okay, I think that might be as good as we're gonna get. Does it look like I have frosted tips or something? I'm getting like a frosted tip vibe. Why? Okay. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Um, I hope you guys liked watching this. Tell me how you're doing. I hope you're doing well. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.